Um, oh, I finished updating my title, didn't I? I did not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, now I have. Ah, uh, yet another pro streamer moment brought to you by Clutum SLP. Um, welcome on in, everybody. I am running late. I'm, I set an alarm and I, I just was like, I, I just couldn't. Um, because I stayed up way, 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 way too late playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> um, but we're gonna get going. I'm gonna do a Discord and I'm gonna do a Twitter with picture. Oh, yeah, um, attach the picture. Can, can I please? Um, hmm. Okay, I have to, because it won't let me do it this way. Oh my goodness, I should have finished setting this up beforehand. Um, of course, if you're in the future watching on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe. Um, and if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. So, hold on, almost on. Ugh. This one? Yes. Okay. Tweet. Hmm. Okay. That works. And Discord. Okay. That's done. And then hello sun and hello yo and we gotta get right into it because I'm so late. Um we're gonna be doing these. We did a test. I'm not 100% sure on the pattern. We're not going to add any gold. Um, I do need to get the other manicure out first. I don't know if I'm going to make race night. I don't know. I don't want to rush too much because that's how mistakes happen. But definitely do not have time to dawdle. So... that said let's get this manicure off your washing machine just broke shit that's bogus that is like super bogus do you have like uh fuck I don't know what the Canadian equivalent of of it is we have a thing it like covers your appliances in with the uh, with the utility bill um one thing to note this little tiny tear that we had on the side of the snail white white balance why um yeah that developed into a full blown break so um I did have to patch that I don't know what day that was Yesterday? Day before? No. Ugh. Yeah, uh, center point. Ugh, the fuck is it? It doesn't cover absolutely everything, but it covers repairs to, like, certain of the major appliances. For, like, you know, it's like a little thing that's added onto your bill each month. Like, I, I can hear their commercial in my head, and they're talking about Centerpoint Energy Plus, but it's not that, because that's not the thing for the for the appliances. Okay, that one feels like it's going to peel well. This one feels like it could be stuck. And we've obviously lost several peelies already. Yeah, that sucks. Appliances are expensive. Where's the edge? Why no edge nail? Some of these polish combinations with the peely base have not been very successful. Like I've been, I feel like I've been getting a lot of really, really weird peels lately. Yeah, and of course, the even the thing, it's like more of a repair than like replacement. I mean, like when we had to replace our furnace, we had to... <sighs> Music gal! 
21 months at the tier three. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Hello. We're, we're our, our, our sub baby is, is now fully legal and can go drinking. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to have a smooth, the testing was very encouraging. These marbled nicely. I don't know if I want to go for a clover or if I just want to do like some petals because I really wasn't thrilled with how, I mean, these came out okay, right? But it was a struggle getting there. Like it really, really was a struggle getting there. Did I already find this edge? Yeah, a lot. Some of them though, I don't know. Every Like so, so there's so many weird little different things in Canada. I don't know like how many things are the same. But like hopefully though, maybe you can get a payment plan or something on it. Because those kind of big purchases gitch, are just ass to come out of the blue. But they always come out of the blue. I forget how long we have we have to pay on the furnace. <laughs> but I mean, that was a huge expense. I mean, and honestly, for everything that they went through, you know, was was kind of a deal. Like when they had to cut apart the old furnace to haul it out. I mean, like th that was a ridiculous amount of work. Yeah, this. Uh... We, we had so many fails on this music gal. I think we were streaming this last weekend until like, or was this, no, this was, this, was this all the way last Saturday? Oh my goodness. Or no, was it, what day did we do this? I don't, I don't even know. doesn't even matter. Um, there were so many fails we had tested and then it just, the placement on the nail was just not right and it wasn't turning out good and it wasn't cute and I was frustrated <clears throat> hopefully we got all that bad luck out of our system because I can't have that happen today <clears throat> hey crafty <clears throat> welcome in I've still got tea oh my goodness my voice <clears throat> maybe I should have some water also ah water to hydrate um so anyway I because of how much difficulty we had when we were recording this, I just never did like this one very much. I kind of hate it, even though I had it on for a week because I wasn't really feeling well. And I'm still kind of not, but we're going to struggle through it today because we have to get a new manicure on here because this one is donezo. Anyway... I forget where I was going before that, but I'm sure one day I'll look back and I'll be like, you know, that manicure was cute. What the hell? Okay. The pinky came off pretty much perfectly. Why is literally the next nail coming off torturously? I mean, it came off in one piece still, which I'm actually surprised about. But these peels are like not created equal here. Why is this stuck here? Did I have to restick that corner with something? I think I might have. Ugh. Not even giving me a good peel after all your troubles. I mean, we've had worse recently. Like very recently. <laughs> um and and I'm not quite sure why I mean I'm doing pretty thick coats we're doing two coats of base color a lot of times we're doing two layers of top coat this one also had an extra layer of hollow we added scattered hollow on it so I really don't understand as far as from like a thickness perspective they should peel really well Oh, no worries, music gal. I know you, you, I mean, you have a life. <laughs> you are, you are allowed to have a life. I'm glad you could be here for today. 
I'm glad anybody could be here at any time. Okay, I streamed really late last night, and I have very mixed feelings about it, because you guys know I don't like starting streams, like, late. Even though sometimes I go really late, like, I, I don't know, I have this weird feeling about starting streams late. But I started a stream at, like, I don't know, quarter after 12, quarter after midnight or some shit. And people showed up, and, like, I don't know, that was sweet to me. I don't know. Caters, hello. <clears throat> um, cotton? I don't have any cotton here. Yes, I do. One lonely last little piece of cotton. <laughs> oh, Music L. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. I know, Ash. I know. I'm I'm like so aware. If it if it works, I'm f I'm good. If it works, I'm all good. If it doesn't work, I'm fucked and it's it's as simple as that. We got our plan. We got our polishes already picked. Yeah, that's always I mean, ah. Uh, funerals can be very stressful. I mean, obviously, but like, it, you know, out of the law, I'm, I don't know what else to say other than I'm sorry, but I know the feels we're coming up on the anniversary of my grandma's death. So those type of thoughts. Hey son, did I say hi to you son? No, you were here at first. I already said hi to you. Why did I think I hadn't? I got about six hours of sleep, which is like a reasonable amount. I no, 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 actually, no, you know what? It's not six hours is not enough sleep. I can't pretend like it is. I need like eight hours, but it's completely my fault because I gave in and played Stardew last night and I'm hooked on Stardew just like I knew I would be. <laughs> and everybody seems really glad that I'm hooked on it. <laughs> everybody keeps showing up like yes stardew and i'm like oh my god mm. a good moment of pause and a chance to breathe yeah color therapy exactly amethyst mm. swatching did you, okay speaking of color therapy that uh the the last limited edition that i remember color club doing I wasn't that excited about I didn't like try to set an alarm or try to get up and get it but if you have not seen the one that's posted in the polish channel on discord okay don't look if you don't want to buy polish but holy shit that is a I want it 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 I need to look like before then and see how much else I need to buy to get free shipping on their website I need to get me a cart ready to throw that bad boy in at whatever clock on Tuesday mm. yes yes I'm pretty excited about that also the mysterious email I didn't, I didn't think anything would be coming quite this soon. I don't know why. I thought it would... I mean, I guess this could be like a spring collection. I guess it is technically like three months from the holiday collection. If she wants to do like seasonal collections. I don't, I don't know. It'll be... I mean, it'll be pretty phenomenal. Probably hollow going by that the image in the in the uh, teaser I mean I'm waiting for that one coat white I just want to see it I mean I have whites that I like and as we've discussed like having things only one coat sometimes has repercussions as far as peelies and stuff goes hey Angie and hey polished 30 or 35 that's not bad I could do that on color club easy need a fancy mouse to go with it the one that i got is uh the razor death adder elite it's got it's got glowy colors like the uh can i can 
Can you see it shift in colors? I don't know if there's a way to like get it to somehow sync up with my keyboard. That would be pretty cool. But I mean, they, they match. They're not like the same brand or the same exactly, but. <gasps> Ooh, getting into things. You might, you might, uh, yeah. Caters with the 14 months. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I appreciate the support. I hope you're doing well. Do, do I recall correctly that you have a move coming up, Caters? Or did that like already happen? Or is that, or am I imagining things all together? Yeah, Angie. I think a lot of people too are just like, things are so uncertain. It's hard to splurge too big, but... I don't know, you gotta splurge a little bit to keep your spirits up. Maybe. I tell myself as I plan on, on getting this color club. I mean, I really don't need that, but it looks like a very, like a really unique multi-chrome. Um, just the, just the combinations of colors that are in it. I mean, of course, that picture is in, like, the most perfect, fantastic lighting and everything. But some, some really are, like, as fantastic as pictured in real life. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that sucks that it fell through, though. But you're moving next month now. Okay. Well, I hope that goes smoothly. Goodness, that's... Go oh, my goodness. All the stress. I'm just like, okay, I'm having, like, sympathy... You, you know, people talk about sympathy pain. I'm having, like, sympathy stress on your behalf. That sounds horrible to have... I mean, you're making all your plans, and then... Oh, my goodness. Oh. oh. You'll splurge, but you'll feel bad about... Don't feel bad about it. I mean... I... I well... I don't know, like, that's easy advice. Well, just don't feel bad, but I don't know. See if you can figure out another way to, like, maybe make up for it a little bit. Cut back on some other treat, maybe. Yeah, the last one I heard sold out really, really fast. Like, very fast. The one, was that for Valentine's Day? I, I love and hate limited edition polishes. Because I, I, I don't know. I just think things should be available. Like always. Once you make something, don't take that away. <laughs> it's not fair. Life's not fair, kid. Neither is nail polish. Okay. Honestly... I shouldn't be doing this because it's taking time and I could be water marbling already. But after like a whole week, like my cuticles are just too rough to not give a little bit of attention. Even though it takes valuable time. Yeah, well, because if you don't, music gal, then before you know it, they're like halfway up your nail bed. Okay, this is, I think, the last one, although I did that hand kind of in lackadaisical fashion. I broke a piece off my thumb. So my thumb is like, I mean, this like whole little corner and it's very, very short. Po little right thumb is in uh not sad condition. I mean, the, the tip of the finger, the little tender underbelly side is not exposed yet. So it's not as bad as it could be, but I mean, it's not, it's not doing too well. I mentioned earlier, this has turned into a full blown break. 
it's about halfway across the nail um and we've got the break on the thumb that's growing out so we've got two major breaks right now yeah hangnail central I mean I'm kind of surprised I don't have more little little starters that little beginning baby hangnail to take care of right now but um okay Let's put this away I think that I want whoa I think that I want to see what we can do with just like a real clean, ooh, almost dropped that, a real clean flower design, 629, okay. I really only have two tests that I want to do, and then we'll move on to the manicure. And if, if these play nice, it's 70 degrees in here right now. I wish it was a little bit warmer. I also wish I'd had a long sleeved black t shirt in my closet, but it's in the laundry. My arms are chilly. This camera's doing kind of weird things with the light, too, isn't it? And I'm blocking Beanie. My bad, you guys. My bad. I can't believe no one yelled at me for that. Okay. Um. One of these was over like green, and one of these was over white. Do we want to go cl like clean white, or do we want to go like dirty white, which turns almost kind of into a green? The greens look a lot darker over green, also. Mm. it looks like it was over the lighter green I kind of think I want to go over white and keep it clean hey dino welcome on in um uh oh, oh, oh shoot mm. I wonder, and man, I'm getting like sunlight directly in my eyeball right now. I just remembered that we talked about uh, a gold topper for this, possibly. Like uh, a gold flaky or a gold... Uh, I don't know if it's in here. And I was going to try to find the man with the golden gun. Oh, is that? No, that's not it. Fuck. And I don't think it's in there because I think it's still in its, its box. Because it came like a big fuck. Okay. Secondary backup plan. is the Zoya has a gold flaky because man with the golden gun is probably with don't speak oh there it is okay let's just take a look and see how this looks this is uh Zoya guilty it's it's 18 karat gold in a nail polish bottle camera please Camera, please. Anytime now, camera. There we go. So they're just, you know, in there. Real gold top coat. Obviously, I don't use it very often. Hmm. 
I think that might be nice. Like it's just it would it would just be like a scattering. Not on this design, of course, but on the hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's snowing. It's not back for us yet. It was uh I think it was about like 45 today, which is nice for Minnesota at this time of year. <sighs> okay. Um where is was I using this one? No. Where's that one I went to the trouble of like fucking sharpening so it was nice and sharp for water marbling? Is it this one? Oh god damn it, no. Please anything but hiccups. Well, that's not true. <laughs> but oh my god, they're so awkward. No, Dino, we're going green. I didn't have time to test rainbow. Rainbows are hard. Find like six colors that work together nicely. It's tough. I could have done, I suppose, like a uh, a gradient and then done the uh, done like a transparent water marble on top. Okay. One. Two. These are not very large drops. Three. Maybe I should. Oh gosh, we've got. Yeah, I should. Okay. Always clean the surface, even if you think the surface doesn't need to be cleaned. Oh. You ever just have a thought come and it's like a great thought, but it actually is also kind of an unwelcome thought? Yeah, the Color Club Neon Pastels work well together. They're, I don't feel like those are very St. Patrick's-y of a rainbow, though. The thought I just had is kind of like a memory. Well, I guess it is a memory. That I just remembered that I'd had the thought to try veil marbling a clover and I don't really feel like fucking around with that right now and now I'm sad because it's going to have to wait another year and will I remember next year? Will I? I mean alright that's six nine probably we should go for 12 need this to kind of anchor all right let's oh the edge is very dry over there. So, okay, stop starting so far out, Clut. The edges just got weird. Like this would be like a more messy petal option. Like not trying to keep everything symmetrical. Oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. I would have to get a better bullseye. Like this one feels like it's like half dry. The half that, the half that didn't fully spread over here compared to over here 
where it's still like see right here it's still like wet like over here it's much drier already because of the way that it because of the way that it spread it's not very centered you get some bleeding toward the middle which I kind of like I would need to get a, a better first spread and move like a little bit quicker but kind of keeping the like intentionally not going too symmetrical yeah more work and uh, veil marbles are just like they kind of mm, they're trickier than they seem like they ought to be okay this one I want to try and do as neat as a flower as possible and just see which one I like better. Like right now I'm leaning toward the not neat one. Also because sometimes despite your best intentions, ones that are intended to be neat become not neat. I also like, I like these colors. Like if I don't, if I, if I switched over to that, then like this probably would not get done, which I feel like would be kind of a shame. Oh, you guys cannot even see what I'm doing. Oh my God. How how did nobody off camera me? Oh my God. I'm so sorry, you guys. I am a pro streamer over here. I will probably zoom you out a little bit after this. That's the quick fix. So for symmetrical flower, you want to like try to keep everything as even as possible. Like you want to cut everything perfectly in half. And then you want to always work like opposite sides. Like you don't want to go from here up to here or here. You want to go across over to here. So that like the, the pull and push remain even. Cause like when you pull on this side, you're, you're pushing on the other side. See how it kind of starts moving and this gets short and kind of stout. So then when you pull back over here, then it like restretches it out. Like we could stay just that nice and clean. I don't know if I could keep much more even than that. Uh, because of the way it does get like a little bit sticky. You still get a little bit of bleeding. Like you have to be more careful and, and any pulling like takes away from the symmetricality of it. That's not a word. Oops. Like I'm kind of leaning this way. I mean, should I do more to it? I kind of like that. Like there's a lot of areas like you could take like just a section of this here would be cool on a nail or or like a section of this if you wanted like a cleaner nail or some of this if you really wanted like a lot of bleeding I could get a lot of could I do three nails and be happy with what I have maybe I could plan to do the whole thing in just four cups that would be really quick. really jelly polishes like made out of jelly or just like really transparent I mean this is a dream we're talking about yeah well I mean I'm gonna assume that most oven repair places are not open at race night time so is sitting around being stressed really any benefit you need something to de-stress maybe race isn't it maybe some stardew is it but maybe race is it <clears throat> there's an off-camera command that adds me so I see it out of the corner of my eye because it's red when things are working properly the other day it was broken like at mentions were not any color at all I missed so many things I 
Okay. I'm not decided yet, but I'm definitely leaning toward messy. Yeah, that one. Should I have Cam as a... Uh, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Excuse the fuck out of me. Um, let's put this up here for the moment where it'll be safe. Put that there to dry. Okay. <sighs> Clean. Yeah, I hope I can grow out this middle nail break. Because it's still quite low. It's like just barely... It's basically right at the free edge. And I'm so glad that it wasn't any lower when it gave or it would have been like extremely, extremely painful, but I still wouldn't want to cut them that low. I mean, that would expose the delicate underbelly, as I was saying earlier. Right now the break is right, like literally right along there. It goes to about there. Oh, well, at least I have the ability to patch it. At least I was able to do that. At least I even have new, nice patching supplies that should hold it well and not those old jank patching supplies that I had for a while. Bring the blankets with you. I, I have an old lady lap blanket here at my at my desk, one of my little throws. I just started keeping it on the on the footrest that's under the desk. And when I get chilly, I just put it on my lap and like tuck it in around me. <clears throat> Can I scoot this? Yeah, like that. Okay. Mm. Poor little dry cuticles. Probably could use like a, a sugar scrub. Maybe later. It's not like I can't do a sugar scrub after manicure. It just makes more sense usually to do it beforehand, but I'm in a rush. <clears throat> I'm debating. I, uh, did you see? We did a little quick switch of, uh, switch swatch this this little swatch right here of uh guilty which is zoya's gold i forgot that i had been considering gold at all and i didn't find my my two opi golds that i was considering um man with a golden gun is basically basically almost identical to to guilty uh don't speak has some finer gold sparkles in it also. <clears throat> Starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with the base coat. Today I'm using Hollow Taco Peely Base and you can use whichever you prefer. There's something stuck in there. There, I think I got it. Yeah. We'll see how, how Peely Base and Essie like each other. It's not like it only works best with hollow taco polishes either. I mean, I've definitely used it with other polishes to good results, but man, 
these past couple water marbles have been kind of, kind of, oof. You know, I I was gifted a Snuggie once. They're not very soft. Maybe they come in some other materials, but the one that I was gifted, I was like, okay, but it's not snug though. It's like rough. I don't want to say I felt like a burlap sack or anything, but kind of though. Okay, so we'll let this dry thoroughly. That, you know, okay, actually, now that I think about it, that might be part of the problem with the one we just took off. There was some rushing there on the redos. And I wonder if it was <clears throat> not fully dry when we applied base color. That, that could definitely impact things like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Mm. Oh, Golden Enchantment? I have that. Um... I maybe even have that within reach. I don't I don't know that I'd want to put that on. It tends to uh like it kind of yellows things in addition to making them golden hollow. Like with a white, it's not my favorite. Yes, I know I'm living dangerously going in the dangerous polished drawers with wet nails I feel like I know kind of where it is though I think it should be in the glitter drawer right here try real hard not to drop this drawer on Beanie or maybe the, is this the hollow drawer are all these yeah okay is the glitter overflow up here then there it is so a lot of you are probably familiar with china glaze's fairy dust this is the gold version So, if you don't own this, you know, let's see. Let, let's just see. We can we can do a test. We can do a quick swatch. Is this dry enough to swatch on yet? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the silver version is uh, fairy dust. Is that also right here? Why would fairy dust not be in the same drawer as golden enchantment? Oh, you know where it is. Mm. Is it in here? No. This is in here. It's, uh, I think it's somewhere where wherever all the polishes when I was comparing with the hollow top coats, it basically is is like a version of like this fairy dust is pretty similar to that or or like the hollow tacos well actually no maybe kind of the scattered but not really like the linear in that okay turn turn that off
Make your own Snuggie. You know, it's not bad, but it does exactly what I thought. I would love to have a gold flaky hollow. Camera, you want to focus? It's not too obvious on camera. It's it's actually quite subtle overall. There, you can kind of see. Like, depending on how heavy you apply it, in person, those are more yellow, and so directly over a white, they make the white just look kind of dirty. Maybe, I wonder if the flashlight will capture this. Flashlight usually works better on the bottle than on a swatch. Mm. Oh, camera, please. What if I, what if I come through here with the... It just is very, it's, it's not really wanting to let me show you guys. Ooh, ooh there. Very faintly there. It's, I like it. It's got its uses. I don't think this is one of its uses. Probably. I think even over this design, in fact, I should test it over this design, the guilty would win. Why is my camera so, okay, put it like here. That's where it should be. Oh, it's because I was showing you guys that water marble that was not in the right spot, and then I forgot to move my camera back. Yeah, I don't, this is a very, like, because it's like 18 karat, it's like a very warm gold course it's flaky so it's a hassle and a half to get them off the brush it does definitely require some some putzing around but like the you know I don't know if I do like that well kind of it actually almost looks like pollen out of a green flower somehow maybe I should go with golden enchantment or maybe I should skip it all together fuck I don't know now I don't know I don't know No, that's too much dino. Mm. If I use the gold, the gold has to be a main star of the show. Not like a backup singer to hollow. Um, okay. What do we got here? Going incognito. Pretty edgy and blank. Blanc? Blank. Blanc? Blank, 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 blank. I feel like it's blank. Mm. Hmm. That's kind of, a, I kind of like it, music, yeah, but I also kind of don't like the thought of then that would cover up some of the flaky. Like, I'm so sensitive about using this. It's like, it's. I mean, it's like, it's precious. It's like actual gold. Mm. Plus, marbling with clear is like... Hey, Renegade. Well, okay, I'm gonna go. We need to go. We need to, we need to proceed. We need to like do things. <clears throat> oh. 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 <sighs> okay. <clears throat> the polishes that I'll be using today are from Essie. The darkest green is Going Incognito, and the lighter green is Pretty Edgy. And for my white, I'm going to be using Blanc, which I'll also be using as my base color. Once I'm done with that, I'll be protecting around my nails with tape as well as liquid latex.
We'll see if we think we need two coats of Blanc. Blanc. I'm going all in on Blanc, y'all. Blanc. Because if they wanted it to be blank, they would have just spelled it the other way, yeah? Oh, what is that? A hair. Oh. Okay, I th I think we will do two coats just to just to give us some fully opaque white. Till Christine drops it tomorrow, I hope. <laughs> like I said, not even that I would necessarily. You know, oh man, man though, you know what it would be. <laughs> you know what it would be really good for. If it's as good as the black is stamping. What is on my thumb there? What the fuck? What the hell? Is that like the edge of the patch is peeling up? What is happening here? <sighs> Polo left thumb. Oh, okay. That's the peel off base coat somehow. How did I get a little snag on it? Did you see the whole thing lift up when I grabbed it? I'm not doing that again. Um, paint over it and pray? I fucking don't know. I'm not starting over. I'm not. I'm not starting over today. If everything goes to hell, everything just goes to hell. That's, that's the way it's going to be. The phone... not answering it i'm sorry you guys i'm sorry that my phone is too uh cheap and stupid to have a mute button well okay that's not actually technically true i could pick it up and mute it but it would only be for right now it wouldn't stay muted for the next call of course what are the odds of getting another call ha huh, who calls here um anyway yeah, just stick a rhinestone there. I should have known, of course, obviously. Just put a rhinestone forehead. Okay. We're going to go pretty much right into the second coat, I think. If I can. Still got a little hair. You guys. Whoa! Runaway orange stick. Okay. Mm, yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna go. Beanie, Beanie, answer the damn phone, boy. I don't think that's gonna work out. <laughs> beanie ass secretary dude that could be like a little comic strip or something cat as blank and it would just be cats like cat as secretary and it's at the receptionist desk or whatever and it's just sleeping cat as fireman and it's just at the fire sleeping <laughs> cat as doctor sleeping <laughs> I don't know at just every occupation and he's just sleeping Dino you're an artist draw that for me and split the profits please and thanks so what is, are you going to tell us Gidge are you just going to like you go, you're gonna drop a statement like that and just just not even share what the fave polish is man 
that's so weird that like it's really look at how far it's sticking out it and okay it's not just because i was fucking with it that's how far it was sticking out that's why i tried to grab it i was like what fucking is that if i push it down like that like if i smoosh it flat that's a little better and then we paint it down we paint over that smoochness How to hide imperfections without actually fixing shit 101 with your host Colette MSLP Ooh, shit yeah we do that one more time and we marble over the top of it and we ain't got no nipple no more mm. <laughs> yeah cat there are a couple jobs cat would be good at cat as baker actually making bread <laughs> and then you know cat ass scientist asleep at the uh, microscope <laughs> cat as nhl goalie asleep in the goalie thing <laughs> i'm just i'm just like these are just going through my mind you guys this is wonderful how's nobody done this before somebody probably has we're late i'm late <laughs> sally hansen gel polish and wine stock i imagine that it's berry but i imagine that it's more of a pink berry than a purple berry because gidge thinks that red is best nobody tell her she's wrong though but i'm pretty sure we all know here that purple is best oh gidge i didn't see you there red's best right <laughs> all right nice white base <clears throat> <laughs> I mean they might do good at an office job Beanie always wants to jack my office chair once I get up oh happy music out okay good yeah sleeping <laughs> your class until further notice has been converted to online oh wow what did Gid just post Okay, we give this just a hot second to dry and then okay tape is down here let's move tape up here oh oh god this tape like where it's like five pounds i swear a vampy red vampy red or burgundy oh, oh excuse me i don't know i'm so full of burps today i'm so sorry Oh, I've got a little dude scratches near your eyeball when your nails are wet okay so latex is getting a bit weird we might need to fill it soon actual blood in a blood bag cats and suits Got a little bit of, a bit, little bit of neck gunk, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. It's minor. Mm. She wouldn't tell us even if it was. There would be full denial. I'm pretty sure. That's far too long for the pinky. Okay.
Okay. Um, goodly amount, like down to here. Ooh, there's jewelry included in the hand shop. I'm gonna try and remember to look later. Or maybe I'll look while my latex is drying. Cause that'll take a hot second. Okay, we got a weird, you know, see that bristle is just like, eh, giving up on doing his bristle job and just like trying to be a stem. I think for today the plan will be to dip three nails at a time but instead of trying to dip my thumb with my pinky which I hate or my thumb with my index which I hate we'll do my thumb with my pinky which is easier Wait, Renegade has seen you? How how would such a thing even be possible? <laughs> Alright, we still... I'm just noticing, can we... Push you down a little again. While, while you're still wet and while you're drying. Okay. Okay. Whoa! It was the flashlight. Wait, you have a llama mask? Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of companies are going to be like that. Either out of assholery or out of actual inability to to cover it any other way. Now, where did that link go? Just up here a little bit. Let's see. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I like dark vampy colors. I would probably want to put hollow on it. She was still being this mysterious. Yeah. Yeah, amethyst. That sucks, son. Mm. Go to go. To, well, I don't know. Are there Sally's in Canada? <laughs> Go to Sally's. Wait, you're Canadian. <laughs> this is my reaction, like always. Mm. I think I'm going to go with 
the messy flower and we're gonna see how it dips I'm still unsure on the gold I didn't introduce the gold in the intro um one reason I hesitate over the hollow is because of course it's nicest in sunlight and we've not had we've had some sunlight we haven't had a lot and even when we have it sometimes I'm not up to enjoy it so even if I consider like that it's very pretty like in direct light which you guys oh my god maybe I could show you guys this with the phone flash hold on Mm. there you see some of those sparkles it's very subtle to get a lot of sparkle you would need to do like a couple coats I wish you would just focus camera camera Ooh, tape is stuck to paper. Yeah, you get just a little bit of the sparkle. The gold flake, on the other hand, is going to add, like, much more noticeable gold. this is true but it doesn't mean that you can't eventually and hopefully you can repair it and you don't actually have to buy a whole new washer okay Wow, son. I think you better you better start looking for another job just in case. All the shady things. It seems like it just only keeps getting more and more and more shady. A new SD card for your phone. Does it not have one at all, or is the one you have not big enough, or is the one you have broken? Okay, let's clean the surface well. Oh, it actually just crapped out. That's bogus. Yeah, that's crazy, son. Okay, let's... I want my other tweezer for removal. Camera. Okay. Um Sorry, just messing around with the tutorial camera. <clears throat> All right, we'll be doing these 3 and then we'll be doing these 2. Oh my goodness. You got to get the get those straight and then you got to get those in there and you got to like
Oh my goodness, what did I touch with that? Get off of there. Get off of there. Make sure this little thumb part is pressed as flat as it can go. I think it's got like a little bubble almost under it. Can I poke a hole in it? Hopefully the marble, co marble covers it up. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> as usual for a water marble I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water oh my goodness pull this okay So this will be six. Mm. This will be nine. And then this round will end on twelve. Once you've completed your bullseye, you can start drawing your design. I'm going to be drawing a flower design, but I'm not going to be worrying too much about it being symmetrical. I'm just going to pull as many lines in toward the center as I can. Hmm. I like, ooh, I like what's happening over there. goodness mm. ooh we sticky ooh okay stop going to be aiming to dip three nails into this design hmm no actually I'm going to be aiming to dip my thumb and pinky into this design so I'm gonna kind of eyeball where I want to dip them and then line them up and go for it with my orange stick I'm gonna clean up the little bit of excess polish and then slowly pull them out and there's the marble. I'm going to use a tweezer to remove the protection and then I'm going to go ahead and marble the rest of my nails. If I had just been in a little bit further, this like this area right there, oh, that was so close to being a really good dip. So close. The pinky's gorgeous. The pinky is gorgeous though. But I'm kind of disappointed in that thumb. It was really close to some really cool stuff. I'll, I'll catch up with chat soon. Gotta do another cup. 
And this one's got to be enough for three nails. goodness I'm so sad about this thumb I hit the edge of the design which I'll show you guys once we finish this cub but I, that just always frustrates me even though I know like to a casual observance like nobody's gonna notice that nobody's gonna come up and be like oh my god you didn't even dip in the right spot Whoa, polish down, polish down. Got it. It's already drying up over there. Pull. I think a hair it wasn't a dry spot I thought it was a dry spot at first but I think it was a hair God damn it, dude. Look at that ring finger. <gasps> the index finger is fine. If the ring finger had turned out like that, I'd be happy. Ugh. Middle finger's good. Like, I was kind of... I don't know. I want to blame it on that little weird spot where the hair got caught because I was trying to avoid that spot. Fucking A, dude. <sighs> That's so fucking... I'm so fucking good at a little.
I'm I'm not happy about that. I don't know what to do about it right now though. So for right now we don't do anything. We move on to fucking the next nail. It's 7 30. I'm almost tempted to redip the thumb, but some of what's going on in the corner of the thumb I like. Like, if I had gone just a little bit further, I think you can even see, like, how much cooler it would have been. But I don't want to redip the thumb. I don't want to redip anything. I'm so mad. I was just, like, a millimeter off. I could have gone farther to the side. It's not like, oh, if I'd gone farther to the side, then the, then the index finger would have been wrecked. Like, no, I think we had at least two more rings to go on the index finger somehow. Hey, Athelus. I, I like, I'm okay with all of them except for this index or the, this ring finger. I'm this like, man, blah, 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 I can't even talk. It makes me angry. It's it's so glaringly like, what the fuck happened there? I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just me. Push back to nine. Not as far as I know, Gidge. Eight central is what I was told. Nine eastern. With possibly a little bit of wiggle room, but... I mean, you can check in the Discord. Earlier, earlier when asked, Ash said 9 Eastern. <sighs> Wait, putting, what are you putting in the kitchen, son? I missed a bunch of chat. I, I'm, I, <sighs> okay, I need to not, like, get angry about this because there's no reason to get angry about it because it's only nail polish, you guys. It's only nail polish. Yeah, 9 Eastern, which is 8 for me and 7 for Gidge, a.k.a. in half an hour. Whoa, what is that goober in there? What? Now there's a goober in my fucking... Since when? I Didn't I literally look in here earlier and declare everything fine? Oh, it's the one that was in the neck. It's the one that was in the neck. Okay. I don't know how it managed to get itself inside the bottle. But that's actually... This is coming off of the neck too. Get get off then. Very minor compared to how Simply Peel used to be. Okay, let's push this back just a little bit more. I don't know if I can like polish surgery up that finger or if or if trying would be foolish I, I just I don't know if it's even worth it It makes me especially angry because the other ones turned out so good. It makes me feel greedy for trying to dip three at a time. It makes me irritated with these polishes for not spreading properly. And then the not spreading led to that one side like drying weird. <sighs> makes it mad with from at myself that I couldn't manage to get up at the time that I set my alarm at. And I woke up like just enough apparently to turn the alarm off and then went back to sleep. <laughs> You ever do that and then the next time you wake up you're like really confused you're like what is happening where am i what time is it didn't i have an alarm set what happened to my alarm that's how i woke up this morning okay Yeah. <sighs> 
You look like that's like that's the edge of the rainbow coming over the water marble on the white. You mean Dino? I don't hate the idea. That's not very high praise, is it? I don't hate it. <laughs> I mean, I guess it does kind of match the thumb, question mark. I mean, even as far as any kind of fix for it, the question is, how much do I care about being in the race tonight? If I don't care about the race at all, then I have infinite time to fuck around. If I, if I care about the race, but not as much as my nails, then I also have infinite time to fuck around. If I care about them equally, then I don't know. And if I care about the race more, then I probably would have skipped doing nails. I don't know. Your ideas all just take so long, Dino. I don't have very many jelly polishes, and I know that the orally color paints wouldn't work because they're not jelly enough i would love to have some more sheer jellies than the color paints <laughs> polish saw you ain't even lying star who's the reason we're in this whole mess i don't know what did i stream to six seven then had to unwind and get some food You know what? This needs this needs cleaning, not just pulling. Yeah, Hollow Knight Race Renegade. Every other Saturday is uh, Hollow Knight Racing. We have a we have a small community racing Discord. Yeah, Athlas. Yeah, I, I started stream after midnight, and uh, yeah, I streamed Stardew until 6 a.m. Yeah, that's a thing that happened. Anime Slime, hello. We usually do two, two nail art streams a week, although last week we only did one because I wasn't feeling well, so we didn't have our midweek nail stream. But... Usually two. Okay. This is really being very stubborn at coming off of there. Get off. Want a clean orange stick for this. All right. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, start, uh, Stardew would be definitely an option if I missed the start of the race. I would probably want to watch the race, though. So Stardew wouldn't be until later. But I mean, I guess that would give me a chance to, oh my God, actually eat dinner. What a fucking concept. Um, I don't know. There's plenty of other people participating. It's not like, oh my God, it's a small race night. And if I don't participate, there's not going to be enough racers. Like it looked like there were a lot of people interested in participating tonight. So, I don't know. Honestly, it was kind of weird when we realized the other the other week that we'd been doing it for over a year. I I think I've missed maybe four the whole year. So, I don't know why I always feel so bad when I miss. Other than I know everybody enjoys it, racers and viewers, and I enjoy it too. Hollow Knight will always be one of my favorite things, I think. It's not Stardew's not replaced Hollow Knight. Stardew is just a new addiction at the moment. And also is very like low stress. Like it's no big deal. I'm not in any hurry. Like, I know the other day when I was looking in, in the Stardew game directory, there was some dude. I, I forget exactly, like, the exact number, but it was something like 50 
million gold by season two. No glitches or something. I'm like, dude, I'm not. I'm not trying to be like trying to do that. I mean, it's my very first farm. I'm just trying to have fun. Um, also, can somebody uh, HK Discord in the chat? Exclamation HK Discord. It will uh, pop up both of the Hollow Knight Discords. The large official Discord, where large official things happen. And our small community Discord, where small community things happen. Whoa. For anybody who might be interested. Alright, I think this one... I mean, you look at this would be not quite wide enough or barely wide enough for three nails. So let's make this one thumb and pinky. See if we can hook Poe Lil right thumb up this week. Two, like sometimes like it's you start lining your thumb and pinky up like this. And then when you actually dip, they kind of go at a little bit of an angle. So I'm trying to keep that like in mind as I dip. whoa oh gosh I dipped in and then I like pulled back out a little bit and I think I might have stuck something on my thumb oh it was close can you see right there where it's folded back over like right there Woo! oh goodness though nice <clears throat> yeah stardew is just a little cute farming game i don't have any chickens yet they want me to build a coop but i've been spending my money on other things than building a coop yes i got a little cat in there whoa don't take it off of there i'm almost taking off the wrong tape yeah dino it's it's pretty cheap it's kind of okay so a lot of you probably know that the new animal crossing is coming out and it's been a long time since I played Animal Crossing, but I really liked it. And this new one like got me all nostalgic and shit. And I'm like, man, maybe I should get this new Animal Crossing. But the catch there is that I do not currently own a Switch. And so I would not just need to buy Animal Crossing. I would need to buy a Switch. And that's a couple hundred dollars that I would not have a good feeling about spending. So Animal Crossing is also about farming and fishing and, and making friends with town people and, and shit such, such as that. And so, uh, um, I've had Stardew since I had got Hollow Knight and I decided, you know what, let's just play this instead, instead of buying new Animal Crossing. And, uh, that's what I did. Are you headed out, Renegades? Thanks for stopping in. I hope you have a good night. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the stores seem to be doing that so that they can, <laughs> that's the cynic in me. I was going to say, so they can say that they're cleaning overnight so that they can clean overnight. Let's hope that they're actually doing the cleaning that they're talking about doing. Clean more, more thoroughly or some shit. Yeah, the new and there's so much hype around it, and the it, the it, the limited edition Animal Crossing Switch, the Joy Cons are like this beautiful like light blue and green that are like so much cuter than like the the red and blue or whatever the standard ones are. I'm like, dude, if I'm a buy a Switch, now's the time. I could easily talk myself into it. Realistically, I could afford it, but I just it's not a responsible move, and. I don't regret start and start. Well, I kind of regret start and started because it's like, it's just drawn me in. But like, I think I've made like an adult decision. Teaching your kids to never get on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, the nostalgic Nintendo games. I haven't looked at very many like spoilers or stuff. I, I don't know if they're even considered spoilers. Um, but yeah, so that's why I started playing Stardew. Yeah, 
Yeah, I I started my my personal Facebook page because you can't. Oh, oh. <sighs> it's fine. Oh fuck. God Jesus. Uh uh uh. uh fuck. Um. Um. I shouldn't have done that. Yes, I should have. I don't know. Was that the right move? Fuck. Um, hi, what were we talking about? <laughs> I'm okay. I'm really glad it didn't land in my lap. I don't know how, I mean, okay, I have tape on my fingers, but I'm aware I have tape on my fingers and I don't have any more tape on my thumb. That's why a lot of times I'll do my thumb first on my right hand so that like my thumb is no longer taped up. Like, but fucking... I like I my heart like 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 a cartoon heart oh my god is it still sold out I was looking around and that probably stopped me from when I was like really in an impulse moment like I'm gonna just go buy the shit right now and then it was like oh you can't um But I mean, I have to imagine it's popular enough that they'll restock it, question mark? Okay. Oh, you guys didn't see that. I just put a fresh coat of white on this. I'm going to give it a hot second to dry. Um, And then we're just going to fucking move along. Oh. Oh. Oh, we were talking about Facebook. That's right. Yeah, I mean, I have my My Simple Little Pleasures Facebook page, and sometimes I feel guilty for neglecting it, because all that I really ever did on it was, uh, like, repost Instagram stuff for the most part, and since I haven't been active on Instagram, the page also hasn't been active. And I've got a lot of followers on there, but my personal page just, like, sits there. Every now and then, like, somebody will tag me in a photo, or tag tag me in a photo that I took, or some shit but like as far as like posting myself or like being on there looking at what other people are posting I originally I there was an OPI contest for for water marbling that I didn't win fucking excuse me OPI do you know who I am I'm gonna close that hold on as soon as I figure out where my mouse is and where that it says is coming from um yeah that like I didn't win but it was on Facebook. So I made a page or a profile to enter that contest. And then I was like, well, I might as well make a page now. I literally had not made a page prior because it required having a personal profile. Mm. Yeah, I've bought stuff from Japan before. I think one of my emails still gets... Uh, emails because i wanted a back in the back in the back in the day i wanted a pearl pink game boy advance God, i still got it it's 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 so cute it's so cute um and had to order from uh what the fuck was the name of the place i don't remember what it was called but yeah it was like in japanese came from japan boy got obi right well, and it was a really good marble. I was like, this has to win. And I looked at what won. I was like, and in my heart to this day, I think they think my water marble was fake because it was so flawless. They're like, man, this bitch must have used decals. Mm, welcome back, music gal. I mean, it looks, the the email promo image looks sparkly. It almost doesn't even look fully black and whited out like she does sometimes. It almost looks like like a pale lavender. Fingers crossed for PR, y'all. <laughs> like laughing, but seriously. Please, please. I mean, I think, I hope. I don't know. When you're on a PR list, do you always get stuff? Or does it... Does it 
Does it depend? Okay, we've got this fully stretched. It's like the only PR list that I'm actually on, so I don't understand really how it works. <laughs> Okay, hopefully we can get enough out of this. Oh, I'm smart. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. This is going to be fine. I should have done this before. I'm so dumb. God. How, how can I go how can I go in 30 seconds from I'm so smart to I'm so dumb? Or actually also the other way around from I'm so dumb to I'm so smart. Cuz I did the dumb thing and then I thought of the smart thing, but then I realized that I had already done the dumb thing. You guys will see. God, I should have done this. I'm so... This is basic. I should... This should always be a solution and an option when I'm dipping three nails. Mm. Okay. So, we're drawing in our petals. We're still going to try and be as, you know, like from as far out as we can, which I think is like just inside the first white ring. And then, oops. You'll see, you guys will see in just a sec. It'll be good. I promise. I hope. I hope it works like I think it'll work. Oh my goodness, now I'm doubting myself. The edges are really not cooperating very well. Okay, a couple more strokes. Okay, stop. All right. We're going to pull. Stretch. Just a little stretch on either side like this. And we should be okay. Oh, you're dry. You are very dry. Okay. All right. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I've doubted every single dip. And I've been right too. What? What happened there? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What? 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 It's the center of the flower, but I well, like what? That doesn't go with anything. No, it's not. It's um, it's um. Oh my god! Hold on. What the fuck is this called? Going incognito and pretty edgy. Oh. Wait, tarantula is in August. Okay, that was not in the version that I played, and that always, that also sounds like fucking really creepy. Wait, you guys like it? Fingers two and four. One, two. Three, four, or one, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I wish we could catch animals in Stardew. I mean, we can farm animals, but like, there's birds and shit. Like, I wish I could. I wish there was like a 
What would it be? Not an arboretum. That's for plants. What would a place like an aviary? I wish there was an aviary that I could like donate birds to and catch birds. What? It's seven fifty-four. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make race night unless they somehow manage to be very far behind. But we're not. We're not even close to done. Um. Hold on finish taking this off and take a look at this <sighs> out of there oh, oh. yeah stretching it, it it's it was already somewhat bleedy in the middle like if you look at the bottom of this middle finger you can see some of that I just I meant to dip up like maybe half an inch like so that the center would be like down here like you see on this one like I didn't actually hit the center the center would be about like right there yeah I like I mean I have a lot of nails that I like polo right thumb like came through See, and, and that one's unstretched, and that kind of shows you what an unstretched center is, because the center did end up on the finger. But, like, it still turned out pretty cool. I There's, like, some bleeding between the dark green and the white. That's what's so weird on this finger. Like, there's no... There's no pure dark green. It looks like it's using different colors than, like, the whole fucking rest of the manicure. Yeah, and I mean, par partly, yes, the stretching. But that's more than just the stretching. Like, something weird happened there. With the with the darkest color. Man. I, I mean, I, I actually, honestly, like, I kind of love it, but not, like, with the rest. And this... I feel like these two are just sitting here like... <laughs> Ah, bitch, you thought. Oh, hey, Gurkhoise. Hi, anybody that came in. Zuli, hello. Yeah, there was some super late night fishing last night. <laughs> like, extremely late night. Extremely late. Don't worry, there's... They, yeah, I think there's probably gonna be some tonight. I mean, I kind of want to redip this one and this one, honestly. What a fucking hassle. Honestly. Let's let's deal with some of these bubbles real quick. I mean, is it worth it? Or should I try to somehow repair them? I mean, I could draw in some exterior bloop bloops. This one, I don't know. I could edge it up in dark green. I mean, does it make more sense to... <sighs> Wait, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't do the bubbles now. Bubbles come after cleanup and cleanup is done on camera and cleanup should be done after I decide what I'm doing with these. Like, honestly, this is really cool. It's like some seaweed type of shit going on. Camera, please. Camera, please. Camera, please. It's got like a little. Please, there we go. See that little bloop right there? I kind of love that. Like if I could, like, I'm, I'm, I'm mad that I'm so mad about it because it's cute. Oh. Redo all the nails to look like the middle finger. I mean. Oh, re redo all the nails just like makes me cringe mm. you know musical you are not wrong Mm -hmm. 
with my camera mounted up here it's kind of a little bit weird but <sighs> yeah I kind of think I, I'm mm... yeah by itself it's totally gorgeous which like makes me want to completely like revisit to like just like designs that are designed around stretching it's weird too because if you look okay if you look at the way these were placed these these edges here are the same level of rings as this here you have a couple, like there's one and maybe a half light ones on this one, and then the rest are dark. Do you see what I mean? Like there's different darknesses at the same ring level around at different corners of the flowers. Maybe it was the stretching, but I wanted, I didn't want to end up with this again. God damn it. Like you fix one problem and you make another fucking problem. <sighs> Hold on a sec. By the way. So as not to be uh, an unknown factor in the race night, I have withdrawn myself. <sighs> you know what? We can, we can, let's do like this. Let's press these bubbles flat. No, not that bubbles. Let's press these bubbles flat. We'll press just the bubbles flat of the nails that we're going to be dealing with. Ooh, some of these are bubbles and some of those are from water bubbles that one's already actually flat and this one and bite the bullet Hey Nader, I, I'm a little bit frustrated right now, but welcome. This very beautiful nail that we did here is completely out of place with the rest of manicure and we're having to redo it. Maybe I tried to dip them all pretty much together. I was trying to stagger them a little bit so that the ring or so that the middle didn't hit right in the middle. <laughs> but it did anyway so that was also kind of less than ideal <laughs> did you did you not want me to redo the other uh the other ring finger music al no i did get photographic evidence no i did i just didn't i i did it well the whoa. Well, the camera was still mounted. I didn't take it down. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and dip these two together. Ha ha, because, you know, why not just go all in when shit's already gone to hell? Um... <laughs> this is what happens when you spread butt into the world, Gidge. Butt comes back to you. It's all butting back to you now. 
<laughs> All right, more latex. I could have maybe, if I'd been more decisive, just like reused tape and latex, but I mean, I went ahead and peeled them. Now the other challenge, of course, is do we get these to match their surrounding designs or do we just like literally say fuck it and go for it? Meaning, are we trying for a side dip for the ring finger, the appropriate side mind, and another semi off center center dip for the middle finger? Yeah, butt and ass is pretty much the same. Okay. Um, I feel like this one maybe needs one more coat of white because it, it was very, mm. might as well do this one too and then give them a minute to dry. So dipping nails on opposing hands is a horrible idea. I don't recommend doing it at home. But it saves time and it saves polish. A swirly? No, because we're dipping them. To, we're dipping them together. Fuck! I just. God damn it! Nudged. Okay. What we're doing is we're gonna sit here for a hot second. Sun is also correct. A butt is also a country. A butt is also a unit of measurement. It's somewhat like a barrel. Semi lyric, all right, music gal. I I learned this when my mother got mad at me for saying buttload very often, and I was like, it's a real thing. And saying a barrel load just doesn't have quite the same emphasis. How you doing over there, Benny? Are you comfy? You look pretty comfy. All right. So I think I'm going to try and just do this so that I don't have to stretch it. Hopefully, you know, stretch it to the sides during the first like three to six rings and then leave it alone. Alter HD, the, the webcam, it's a, uh, a Logitech Brio. And then I have my tutorial camera here also mounted on the same ring light. So the tutorial gets a very similar view to what you guys get, except slightly different. My tutorial camera right now is a, uh, what is this thing? Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. It's a lot. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Can I just not knock anything over for like five seconds? <laughs> or was that a typo? <laughs> Is this like our conversation about blank versus blanc? Butt versus boot? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to want to go like on. So this will actually work. Like not too bad when we dip them. We'll try to keep. I know you guys won't be able to see. We're going to try and go kind of something like this. But they're going to have to be closer to each other. So like. Maybe I can. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. She's a beaut. All right. Do we need to hold on? Let's clean the surface. This last bullseye is an important bullseye.
fucking nail polish and water marbles and fingers and lack of dipping skills. Oh, well. Okay, so, <clears throat> new plan. Since we are too tardy for Hollow Knight Racing. Also, like, there is multi-stream. I think Luke is in tonight. Ash or Pancakes. I think Ash is streaming. Um, I, a whole bunch of people. Like, it's going to be a big race night if you guys are uh, have the ability and the interest to, I dinged it, to set up a multi-stream. I think they should be getting going shortly. It looks like they were running, like, slightly behind, but I didn't feel like they were so behind that I would have a chance to join because I don't... I mean, we got at least... We're gonna, we're, we've got cleanup still. I mean, we've got half an hour absolute minimum, and then I would need like a hot second in between also. So, my new plan is gonna be to watch the races, right, racers, while I get some dinner and then do some stardew is this already dry Fuck me. what if we just anchor this right now okay get to pulling a pulling and a dipping I also, I had to like pull out my number one Saturday rule, which is that with a few exceptions, like if it was like a special night or something, and it is kind of special because it's the epilogue gaming thingy, but like I said, there's a lot of people participating, so it'll still be a good race, but like nail stream has to come first before Hollow Knight, much as I love Hollow Knight. I, I don't ever want to shortchange the nail streams because of it I need to just get my schedule fixed honestly I don't think we ever ever had a problem on a day where I successfully got my stream started earlier in the afternoon even like three I would give us plenty of plenty of time but I was I was counting on things going well for this to, oh my god, that's horrible. Well, mm, you know, can I? That's a, that's a sticky situation. Pun not intended. Okay, you are also a sticky situation. So, I want to stay away from that problem area. I want to get you about there and you about there. Sorry you guys can't see very much. Do it. Okay. So now, kind of like with the thumbs, we got to take that excess and get it stuck like on my knuckles and on the uh, latex so that it doesn't stick on the design. Oh. oh, look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, it's really nice. Ah, nice. I like that too. Okay, that's a win. That's a win. Thank goodness. <sighs> Thanks for popping in, Nader, even if it only was for a little bit. That's uh, understandable. Oh, C4! 19... 9... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 19 months. 
hello welcome and thank you so much for the support oh my goodness <laughs> like all these high number resubs today i don't know like music Al had a 21 and i think was it was it caters had like 14 or something i don't know <laughs> oh i guess we are coming up on like the two-year streaming anniversary and then the affiliate anniversary which I don't really like super celebrate is just like a month after that. So yeah, there's, there's some people with some really hot, like you guys, I appreciate it so much when I'm sitting here being a little whiny bitch. Cause my water marble didn't do what I wanted it to do. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys hanging out and sticking it in there with me. Yeah. I hope you're doing well C4. Oh my God. I'm so glad we redid that. Oh, that one is so good. That's my favorite one now. That's my favorite one now. This, this, this one, this, this, this one right here. Look, look at the good shit we got going on on the side there. I love, okay, like you guys know, I love like some real nice, perfect symmetrical shit, but I love that sort of a non-symmetrical shit also. Does that make sense? I hope so. And this, okay. Let me get this tape off we got we didn't stretch we still have some of this weird bleeding in the middle but you see how whoa, whoa don't fucking hate. it's fine i got it i'm just so sick of dropping things like we still got a lot of the bleeding in the center but because the center wasn't like in the center of the nail hello can i can i grab you please latex and not not my not my actual skin please ow um because the, the center isn't in the center of the nail. Can I please get the rest of this latex? Like we got a much different effect than that weird, like it doesn't look out of place anymore because you still have some some actual dark green at there at the tips of the petals and then and you have some of that next ring in there too so you get another you get more of a marbled effect and the the bleeding part doesn't make it look so just like out of place and weird <gasps> i'm so much happier with this now i'm very glad i did that the thumbs are both good this is probably my least favorite nail right now because we caught the edge of the design you can actually almost even see like that little like that's where I dipped in the orange stick but because it's skinnier than what was on the ring finger there like it's less noticeable and it's not as it's not as eye catchy should I you know what what have I got to lose let's see if we can let's see if we can make this just even a little bit less noticeable I want to use this no where's my really small where's my really small detail brush whoa no not that one that's the weird gradient brush that's so hard to get back in its in its tube oh thank you yeah I've been I don't know I've been a little stressed out I haven't been feeling the best but like I thought about it and it, and then I tried to kind of look on the bright side like last year you guys probably remember I was kind of sick for like months not like ill or with anything specific but like just for a long time I was like exhausted like to the point where actually even just going up and down the stairs was really difficult and I feel kind of like I did then except not as bad like I'm not having trouble going up and down stairs which as you guys know is good because the bathroom and stuff is downstairs see we're just gonna take some little patient strokes here like where the little seam would come through like that and on the other side like this I'm gonna come through a little bit with the darker one too. And add just like a swipe at the tip, just like that. Like a tiny. 
a tiny little maybe a little bit more of an accent there too you guys want to be closer while I'm doing this probably mm. um so yeah I'm kind of just like counting my blessings that it's not as bad as it was last year and actually the the year before that I was also sick around this time of year I think it's just like my body is just like literally physically rejecting winter and I'm sick of the shit and maybe that sounds overly dramatic but like I'm honestly just so ready for nice weather just to like go outside and just have reliable sunshine and just okay and then just a little bit with the darker green so we'll grab a little bit of that We'll come in here. I should have left a little bit more white there. It's fine though. You know what? I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of white. I'll fix I'll fix my fix. Okay, that was not enough white. Oh my god, my hands are getting more and more unsteady too. Tape, don't stick on me. there like that okay and then a tiny bit of dark on this other little section and then I think we'll be done hmm it's also got like a little bit of a flap excess polish there that's better just like this little section here. Yeah. It's kind of like a little fake out. Make it look like it's marbled when actually it's not. It'll look nicer once we clean it up too. Okay, let's move on to clean up. Mm. Yeah, everything is canceled. Yeah, definitely still do it, son. Ooh, this isn't closed. Let's not make that mistake again. The fucking latex. Okay. Mm. Excuse me. I spit off a piece of my lip. Relatable or nasty? Everybody knows it's relatable. Even if you say it na it's nasty, you're, you're lying to yourself and to others. If there's anybody out there that hasn't, like, bitten off a piece of their dry lip ever when your lips are dry. <laughs> yeah, son, both, yeah. Okay. You right. You right. <laughs> Will that stay there? Okay. Oh, I don't, don't paint acetone on my face. I was trying to itch with this end and then I was like, wait a minute. I'm like reaching for it with the paintbrush end. Oh. Mm. You're still debating? Debating what? If you're going to join the race, you better decide. Or what you're gonna have for dinner or what you're gonna do or if you're gonna play stardew or what what are you debating yeah well it's surprising because do they really i mean i guess probably there are gonna be some people that are will be like yeah let's go to the home show Mm-hmm. Yeah, Athelus. I I bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, 
Well, if you're anxious and blah, determine how does racing usually make you feel? Does it make you feel anxious or does it make you feel distracted? That's actually wonderful, son. I didn't even think of that, but like for some kids, that actually could be a huge issue. Like, gee, thanks for cutting school. Now I have no food. Fuck, I didn't even think of that. Good on them. I hope other districts are considering that or doing some of those. Um, I know some places have like little backpacks that kids can take home filled with food if they are. Uh... There's there's like a, a term for it nowadays. Uh, food insecure, I think, which is I mean, it sounds kind of. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, Zilly. And I've heard mixed thing like they say that any like type of respiratory is like an added risk of complication. But then I've also heard that asthma is not on that list, which honestly to me does not make a lick of sense. So I don't know. Make sure he knows about Twitch son while he's sitting there bored. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Dooley. If literally any other cold or virus or, you know, <clears throat> fucks with any, anything that fucks with my lungs fucks with my asthma. So if this shit fucks with my lungs, how are you trying to tell me it doesn't fuck with my asthma? But I also don't want to be one of those people. It's like, you know, don't believe anything you read or, you know, like that. But I'm just like, I feel like healthily skeptical over that from my from my own experience as an asthmatic. Yeah, I mean, they could just spread it all around. Almost, It's almost worse, because they're like, you know, little invisible germ bombs. Well, not invisible, but... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I do know. I mean, I'm already halfway, halfway a hermit, honestly. Especially since I haven't had a car. You know, I was like, oh, I work from home. I don't have any rush on, on getting a car after I had my car accident and everything. And, uh, oh, just got used to like even more, more limited going out of the house because I didn't have transportation to get out of the house. But, you know, it's like as soon as it's, enforced or as soon as it's not like my choice it's like it makes it a different kind of a thing all right let's get our cleanup on at least these greens don't seem like they're too stainy Oh, this this ring finger is so much better. Even if that other one that we moved, that we moved, that we changed, that we got rid of, that we covered up, that's still actually under there in all its horror. Um, like even if it had gone all the way to the edge of the nail, it was a much more boring section of pattern. You know what I mean? Versus this, which is just like. Oh, I don't know. I feel like this just really has some nice interest to it. <laughs> uh oh. Bean. You coughing, buddy? This is one thing I will 100% be glad when winter is over because I feel bad for poor Benny with it so dry in here. You okay, buddy? He gets the cough, so I feel bad because I relate. Aww. You okay, bud? <clears throat> oh wow Athelus 
That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't, like, I don't know. I'm trying to stay informed without being, like, overly informed. Like, I know there are several cases in Minnesota. I don't know, like, which counties they're in. I just assume there's at least one in Hennepin County. Considering it's the main one, and, you know, if they got back here, they probably got back here through, like, the airport or some shit. And even if it's not known yet, there's probably more people that are probably here. Or if they were treated at, like, you know, HCMC or something, because it's a... Because it's a good hospital, and it's already, like, right here. Okay. There. See how, see how that looks? Like, it's... It's not flawless, but it's not about being flawless. It's about, like we talk about sometimes, just that, that little optical illusion. Oh, we're still, we're still, we're still recording. Be anybody. I mean, he doesn't even, like, get out of his, his little comfy position, but I feel bad. All right, Amethyst. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, get your cat out of here. Well, for a while, I know there was like, they thought a dog had it. And then they were like freaking out about, you know, cross species contagion. But I guess that was found to actually not be the case or some shit. Like, oh, our bad dog doesn't actually have it. Which, I mean, thank goodness. We really would have some, some plague type shit. Yeah, that sucks, Gidge. There's a lot. I mean, in the States, it seems like it's just, it's worse on the coast and it's just creeping its way inward. You know, I think there's only two or maybe three states that don't have any cases yet or don't have any known cases, I guess it should be said. It was like Montana and I forget where else. Be anybody. <clears throat> yeah, Athelos. Well, I remember too, like... Like I said, I'm trying to stay informed while not getting, like, paranoidly informed. They were saying that there was, like, a TSA agent that had that had it, that tested positive, And they were not trying to track down everybody that they came in contact with. And I'm like, well, but shouldn't you be doing that? I mean, it just seems like, I don't know. It's unavoidable at this point. But I think, you know, they, they got that graph that's going around now. Like, that does make a lot of sense. Like, you're not trying to completely, like, um, it's, it's not going to be eradicated by these quarantines or by, like, staying, staying home. But it's going to hopefully keep things from spiking up so fast to the point that, like, healthcare systems are unable to deal with it. Because there's only limited amounts of beds and shit. You got to be, it's like, you know, there's, you got to find that, that level between concerned enough, but not paranoid and not panicking. Like panicking isn't going to, panicking is not constructive. Just like if you see a spider, if you like freak out and scream, does that, is that constructive? Do you kill the spider? Like, no. You got to like think with a clear head. And then once you've survived the experience, then you can sit down for a minute and have a little think about how uncomfortable that made you but the panic in the moment is not going to serve you well <clears throat> T 
Yeah, <laughs> wink. Wink indeed, man. Mm, I'm going to not say anything more on that. But yeah, wink. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, wow, crafty. I've seen a lot of, re- speaking of drive throughs I've seen there's like a lot of restaurants that are closing their like inside dining, like it's drive through only. Or cutting hours or just cl- closing all together. The Apple stores are all closed for two weeks. Stuff like that. It's just like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like it's necessarily an overreaction. But then again, I'm like, is it actually like a good reaction or like, I don't know. I don't, it's like, we've never seen anything like this before, or at least I have. And all the other things that were like this, like they fizzled out, you know, SARS and bird flu and like all this other shit, you know, every few years and people get complacent. Like, well, that other thing never actually happened. So maybe this won't actually ever happen, but like, it's happening. Like this is fucking happening. You know, SARS and bird flu didn't close however many sports it is that are closed by now and all the other stuff it's just it's weird uh montana did i already answer that i think i might have already said that athelus of course that could have that was like earlier today that could have changed by now i mean stuff is just updating and changing all the time yeah no panic is the people that you know, are buying 18 packages of toilet paper. Okay. You're not going to be out of contact with the world for the next six months. Okay. You're, you're, you know, even if you are quarantined for two weeks, you don't need 28 million packages of toilet paper. (laughs) Exactly. C4. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Yes, I read that exact same article, son. And then at the bottom, when I read it, it was like, after we pu- we published this, he is now looking for somewhere to, to donate them. Because people probably started calling him on, dude, that's not a public service. You're a dick and you were just trying to make money. And you got caught on it. Whole garage full of the shit. Driving around in a U-Haul, stocking up on shit and reselling it. I mean, I get it. It's, you know, like the article said, like people do it all the time with other shit. We were talking earlier about that Animal Crossing Switch. Go on eBay and let's see how much Animal Crossing Switch is going for right now. I mean, you know, buying buying shit that people want and reselling it and marking it up has has is not a new thing. But this is this is not a switch. Okay? This is like you know, toilet paper and hand sanitizers and okay, I'm I'm not going to count hand sanitizer as essential. Hand sanitizer can honestly like go to hell because it's, it's going to create a whole other problem of of you know, shit that's, you know, antibiotic resistance. Like just fucking wash your hands, people. Wash your hands well. Hand sanitizer is like an emergency situation only type of usage. All these people that are like hand sanitizer all the time or hand sanitizer over like actually washing your hands like that's that's not a plan that's not a good plan but anyway like reselling a switch is on a different level from reselling fucking face masks that even hospitals don't have enough of you know you feel me you guys i think you guys feel me you guys are all sensitive people sensitive sensible sensitive too ching ching um Yeah, as he's giving a new, as he's giving an interview, Zuli, right? I don't want to be the guy on the front page of the newspaper. Maybe you're not the front page. You like last page, but you in the newspaper and people hate you instantly. You're a dick. I mean, all this is just like confirmed cases and like, I, I don't, I don't know. A part of me is like, you know data and numbers and i like data and numbers and all that too and the other part is like okay we don't need like live up to the minute ticker at the bottom of the screen with every state's confirmed 
case number. Like that's, you know, you, I don't know. It's one of those instances where I feel like it's a good way where you can judge news stations and, and networks and stuff. It's like, are you reporting the news? Are you sensationalizing the news? Are you, uh, you know, twisting the news? Are you, you know, how, how exactly are you handling this situation? Can, can it, it, a lot of stories, it's like, you know, the way you presented that told, just told me a whole lot about you. I don't know. I, for the most part, I, I've listened to more news lately in the past couple days or weeks like to try and stay on top of this than I usually do because news like frustrates irritates depresses infuriate like there's I I used to be like a news junkie like I would always watch the news I would watch the five o'clock news I would watch the 5 30 news I'd watch the six o'clock news I'd watch the 10 o'clock news I'm sitting here watching news weather please tell me the weather I want to know what the weather is and then like I don't know I started just being like you know everything on the news now sucks like 90 percent of it like it's all horrible like i think about how the news used to be <laughs> now i'm sounding like a real old woman but it's just not like that anymore it's like everything is horrible you know and i don't know i i decided it was not as healthy for me to be as into it as i was and especially now, I just basically don't even watch TV, let alone the news, just like TV in general. There's cotton fuzz from when I... Did I clean that up or where did that cotton fuzz even come from? Okay. We are clean. We are beautiful. We got some bubbles to deal with. <clears throat> some some of them have been shut down crafty on ebay and on amazon but i have to imagine that they're as, as soon as they're taken down like somebody else comes through and like tries to mm. somebody told me that people were uh yeah some some places have like too late actually in some cases like started putting limits on stuff but somebody told me that there are people selling like individual fucking sheets of toilet paper and people that are buying fucking individual sheets of toilet paper i think we discussed this before because i remember saying there's other shit you could wash your ass wipe your ass with than paying a dollar 75 per sheet of toilet paper it's just not it's not happening for me <clears throat> yeah i mean and then like the more people hoard and the more people can't find it then when they do find it then they become a hoarder too because they're like well man i did have trouble finding toilet paper I mean, once this is all over, toilet paper stocks are going to take a hit because everybody's going to have enough toilet paper to last them to the end of the year. You know, if everybody just is waiting for their chance to stock up, like, we don't actually need more toilet paper. Toilet paper production, I'm assuming, is a pretty steady, a pretty steady demand. It's not like, oh, man, that, that toilet paper demand is rising and falling like... <laughs> Hopefully, most people are regular and you know how much toilet paper you need over a given amount of time. That's my thought. My 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 toilet paper thoughts. Okay, so we're pressing out these bubbles like we usually do to get rid of the air bubbles. We got a little bit of a slight tear there on that one. That one was just a bubble in the dip. This is the one that teared when I tried to press it flat. Um, and there are kind of a few. We might end up with two coats of top coat for this also to help with the bubbles, but that's not a big deal. Mm. But the bubbles, like if you just leave the bubbles, it's, it's always worse to leave the bubbles. Any flattening that you can do is uh, 
<laughs> it's good. If you really do want them to not pick on you, Atlas, or anybody else, if you want Buttspot to ignore you, uh, exclamation butts will give the ignore command. I think it's just ignore me, but I'm not 100% sure. But you can... Uh... Galaxy Brain Liz, hello. Hey, yo. Two months. Thank you so much for the support. Subscribing with Twitch Prime. I hope you're doing well. We are, uh, we're pressing out our bubbles before we move on to our top coat. And this manicure, like really, I cannot say that this was as much of a struggle as last week's. Partly because the marble and the white itself was good enough that when I decided to redo the nails, I didn't have to start from scratch. Like with the other one, the base color was not opaque enough to just paint over the marble and keep going. So I had to actually like remove all the polish from the nail and then start over from the bottom. Is this, this is a weird little bubble. I don't know if I can fully deal with that. Oh well, hopefully Sesh Feet will fix it. Okay, you don't really, some people do. And then I'm like, okay, like anybody that like actually, actually does, you can make it so that he does not buttify any of your comments. Yeah, what was that episode? Were they having like some kind of a toilet paper crisis? Oh no, she was in the bathroom. She was in a bathroom and somebody somebody asked her to pass some under the... Yeah, I haven't seen like every single Seinfeld, but I've seen more. More than I would care to. Honestly, I'm not a huge Seinfeld fan. But my grandparents used to love it. They would always watch it. I would like, just like grit my teeth and you know, what am I going to say? I'm like, Grandpa, I don't like this show. I'm like, no. I'm going to grit my teeth and... I mean, it had its moments. It's not like I hated it. It's just like it wasn't... I don't know. It wasn't something I would ever choose. I feel like trying to fix this, I kind of... I don't know. I'm not happy with... Not happy with how that fix worked. This too is another, I try to show you guys, sometimes it's hard to see on camera, but like see how, how, how those bubbles are and how they're, see if I can, yeah, see how they actually literally are like little tiny domes. So we want to just gentle as possible, flatten them out. very gently you don't want to like make a make i mean you, you somewhere in there a little hole forms in order to let the air out but you don't want to like rip it so that there's a white spot that's what we're trying to prevent and you don't want to push the dome over to where it like lies on a line like okay see this one right here that that one if i were to push it that way it would lay over on that white line so what we want to do is we want to flatten it like in the direction of the line. Like that. And just softly push it flat. So now you can still see them. But you no longer have that the little domes. Sometimes even I have to just like literally look at the like the side profile shot to actually see if they're flat or not. Because you do still like you can still see some little little indications <clears throat> yeah no I mean like when we get toilet paper I mean honestly it's like I don't know whatever the largest single thing is that has like the smaller single things in it. I think it's probably like a 24 pack or maybe even a fucking 36 pack. Just because it's one of those things, you know, it's not like, well, gee, I wonder if I'll ever use this up. Like, you know, a, a gallon of mayonnaise or something. Toilet paper doesn't go bad. You're going to use it. Who wants to deal with hauling at home all the time? Same thing with paper towels. Get the big ass. I think we get the 18 packs of paper towels, but just one. Not like, carts and carts full 
Mm. Oh, you're not a Seinfeld fan either, son. Oh, no. I think that was a beanie hair. Oh, yeah, I, I do, too. Even, even though I'm not, like, a huge fan, I, there are definitely lines, and I'm like, I think that's a Seinfeld thing. <laughs> like, the juice from a lime is coming out. We had one. Ooh, what did I do with that one? Is it right here? Where we got the coolest... This one. Check this one out. Yeah, Cottonelle is good. Wait, who, sa who said it looks like the juice from a lime? Crafty. Check this out. This was uh, a wet a wet base that ended up with a lot of water droplets. And the effect that this came out with... Um, actually, Music Gal, I know you were in a semi-lurk. But if you are able to, like, glance over and see this test, which I don't know if you saw before, um, it reminds me, like, of the uh, bubble technique with the soap bubbles. The way the polish, like, got pushed almost almost into cells? I don't even know. It's uh, It was a yellow base. That's why we have a little yellow over here. And then, yeah, it just... It, it was... I was doing a fast swatch, so I like put the color down and then like almost immediately dipped it. And then it came out with a bunch of bubbles on it or like not bubbles, but like water droplets. And it created this effect. And I, I want to explore this some more because I think, yeah, I think this would be, oh, the, yeah, the, mm, the redips went really well, but I think this is, this would be like to intentionally get this effect. I mean, it might be kind of tricky because I'd have to like latex and everything first and then like do a base color and then do it. Or maybe the slightly wet base didn't even have anything to do with it. And it was just something about the way I dipped and the way that the water like sat on it. <clears throat> mm. You can't get the aloe cottonelle anymore. You know... I don't know if I can either. There's like the blue, which is like regular, and the purple, which is like super plush or whatever you want to say, which actually is like really nice, but it is like a little bit more expensive. But usually we just get the regular. But to, I'm sure we could have an argument like we had about paper towels. Team Bounty uh, about toilet paper, but yeah, Cottonelle's best. <laughs> mm. The puppies. This for the seaweed one? Um, wait, what seaweed one? A future seaweed marble? I've already done a seaweed marble. I did a seaweed water marble like nine years ago. This would be like a cool ocean effect, though, if I did this with like a, a blue marble. I would have to see. Or like, even if you just did like a water, what would I even call it? Like a water layer and just use the water droplets like a solid color there, there's so many things I want to explore with that like it it's it sparks creative juices in my head it's not lime juice it's creative juice um I'm weird I know I let all the weirdness out on stream because otherwise I would just be sitting here like overthinking every single moment test it this is not a testing stream c4 this is just a please god let me get through this we've had two full testing streams so far water marble march this uh the green was a result of the second testing we've still got a couple more combinations from the testing to use but i would like to do at least one more strictly testing stream where i just pull colors and see see what sparks in my brain <laughs> team I mean it it really is the quicker picker picker quicker thicker picker, quicker thicker picker upper I can't talk <clears throat> Viva's not horrible well see you just got, I got like okay so like this this obviously this isn't like a clean nice paper towel anymore but this is still perfectly good for cleaning up cat cat vomit so i just have lots of half used paper towels that wait for that i got a stack right here if beanie were to were to have a up chuck moment 
Oh, also, ooh, is that nice? It's that nice new bottle of Cess Reed again. This makes me so, so happy. It's such a simple little pleasure. <clears throat> oh, really? That's kind of a cool little hack, C4. Oh, there is actually a warm up. I, I don't know if I can do it, though, because now I'm starting to get hungry, too. Uh, maybe I could. I've got to clean up, though, and do... In I don't know. I don't know if I'll join. Yeah, so this one is my... The the ring finger that we redipped, Musical, is my new favorite one. Oh, it just turned out so freaking good. And then this this middle one is the other one we redipped. And we still got some of that, like, weird pulling and bleeding lighter colors there. But because we positioned the center, you know, like down here, we got enough other stuff that it, like, they don't stick out anymore at all. They fit just perfectly into the water marble. And the thumbs are good, too. Especially Polil right thumb. Polil left thumb. Got their incomplete water marble polish surgeried. So it looks like it's, a, like the edges is not, or like the edge is part of the design. No, I already posted I'm a no. I took a minute and posted. I posted at 8 o'clock to count me out because the nail stream was running too late. <clears throat> I think cake decorator sounds like the coolest job. I think maybe if you've told me this before, C4, I've told you how cool I think it is then that frosting is for snacking when I was a kid and we would go to Target and they still had I think it was like was it maybe McGlynn's in there or something but they had a cake decorating station and if the cake lady was in there decorating cakes it was like a fucking highlight day and as soon as we were like done and mom was like in the checkout I'd be like can I go watch the cake decorator and they would get the little bloop, bloop, and they'd be doing the flowers like bloop, 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 bloop. I love it so much it's probably probably somewhat accounts for my fascination now with like soap art because they do the frosting it's like so baking similar but I mean it's soap it's not edible <laughs> yeah it's such a cool creative the only thing is be like I'd be like nah kid you can't have this cake it's beautiful <laughs> mm. for fucking cookies okay <laughs> I, I, it, like I mean the way you phrase that makes me want to ask if you were going to use the chocolate for lube Gidge. <laughs> why 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 would you buy chocolate chips if fucking cookies like I mean you you make it sound like you don't really want cookies so why'd you buy chocolate chips Why are they fucking cookies? All right, let's get our let's get our first coat of top coat on here. <clears throat> Once you're done with cleanup and you've pushed any bubbles flat, you can go ahead and finish with the top coat. I'm using Seshvit as usual. And this should just smooth everything out. Will all be lovely and beautiful. Ooh, a little tiny streak there. A little bubble that wasn't fully flat. Oh, I love the way this took. Oh, the gold. Hmm. I guess I've decided not to do gold, you guys. Because we're top coating. I didn't even consider it until just now. I think I think I like this well enough though that I don't want to cover it up with the gold. So I think it's the right choice. But I, I will confess I did kind of forget. But a lot of times when that happens it really just means I decided and I didn't realize I decided. My brain just decided that I didn't need to think about that anymore because it had already decided. Mm. 
that's really nice. At first I felt like these colors were very generic, but I think giving them a more uh, abstract slash randomy sort of flower petal pattern, instead of trying to get them into, like when we first tested, we were looking at like that sort of a thing. I think that just, just, you know, doesn't do it any favors. Dang it, we've still got that little nipple popping up there. I need to push it down before the second layer of top coat. Whereas this, like, has a lot of personality, a lot of intricacies in the pattern that are interesting to look at. Don't worry, you guys. We'll find another use for gold flaky polish eventually. Sometimes I like it over just like a... Uh, like a gradient um and I don't remember if it was the Zoya one or the OPI one but I've used it over Sharpie art before also which turned out really nice my very first Sharpie nail art I think that was ooh got a little hair there If I can grab it. Can't get it with my finger. Oh, don't get too close. Oh, come here. Oh, okay. There we go. <clears throat> Some weird toilet paper available on Amazon. sad when you couldn't do it anymore so you picked up a paintbrush instead i would love i mean if you're comfortable if you want if you want to share any any paintings or if you have any like old pictures of cakes like i would love to see i would love to see i'm gonna do a, i'm gonna do another coat in a second here we got the uh can you see that little lump right there it's the little problem spot on the thumb press that down again a little bit it just keeps popping back up. <clears throat> Off the grid without toilet paper. I mean, I don't know. People are squeamish too. I mean, who doesn't have a couple extra t-shirts that they could cut up into little reusable cloth toilet paper squares? Toilet cloth squares, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, oh, this best. Like that, that is, I would rank that a 10 out of 10 water marble pattern. P placement and pattern. I just like, there's very little I could say critical about that. I just, I love it. I love it. Like this one, I feel like this, is a little bit far from the center like you get more of like a horizontal design rather than like this is more of like a half flower petal design the pinky too honestly I, I would rate 10 out of 10 these maybe these two together can be my favorite not that there's anything wrong with the rest of these this one's pretty good too when you just when you just look at that balance and this pinky is good too I get, I get way too much, I get way too into my water marbles probably. Mm. I don't think I've ever used acrylics. <laughs> Everybody, my whole chat gonna be prepared for the, for the apocalypse. We're all gonna have tactical shovels one day. That looks like a milk carton. That's weird. I mean, unfortunate, but also, hey, <laughs> if if complaining will get them to talk. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You know what I've started seeing? Okay, so I watched some YouTube the other day and it's full of bidet commercials. Get yourself a bidet today. Like, I mean, yeah, but <laughs> I don't know. And the commercials, like they showed a little thing going, psst, psst, and then they show a guy going, whoa. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do one more coat of top coat to to help fully smooth out the bubbles I hope and hopefully get us a good peel oh my god if this doesn't give me a good peel I'm gonna be pissed as fuck I mean if anything the problem one should give me a better peel cause they'll be thicker hmm What is Clark borking at? Probably somebody walking down his block. How dare they? Yeah, man. I'm so glad that I didn't force myself to like... settle you know I'm I'm so glad <sighs> that's good that's good shit I mean could I wish that the index finger was more of a reflection of the ring finger I mean, sure. Sure I could. Sure I could. I could nitpick almost every single one of these nails. Even the ones that are flawless designs have some bubbles. I mean, what the fuck kind of water marble queen am I? But I'm not going to. I'm going to be happy with what I have. Because some things are out of your control. And honestly, bubbles... Like, okay, I've been water marbling for 10 years. I still, bubbles elude me. I know some ways to minimize them. I don't know how to avoid them completely. I just don't. Like, I don't think you can. I think there's too many factors to it. And if you avoid one factor, you could easily run into another factor. I think you can get bubbles on the design if it's too dry when you dip your nail. I think you can get bubbles on the design if there's bubbles in the design, which sometimes you can resolve before dipping. I think you can get bubbles if there's water droplets sometimes, somehow. It's just like so many different things. <laughs> yeah, musical. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> son no son <laughs> crow judge <laughs> yeah I mean okay like you it, okay n l I'll, I'll attempt not to be you know what this should be like not quite like that not to be like too graphic but like a drip of water ain't gonna do nothing it, it's like a a powerful stream and yeah I can imagine like I don't know I mean I get it and in some ways it's like you know yeah it's green you're not you know wasting all these toilet paper made out of poor trees but like on the other hand like I, I don't know <laughs> mm. What is what is a mulberry? I think I've asked you this before, son. What the hell is a, a mulberry? Or does it not actually have a mulberry? Oh wait, that's just the poorly okay, the poorly translated description. Fire ice cream. <laughs> just take just take a weapon and you know what? I'd like to mod this weapon just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna be wrapping up shortly here, Amethyst. 
and then I'm going to be watching some racing and I'm going to be also cooking dinner and then did you guys hear my tummy I don't know if Mike picked that up um honestly like let's be honest after the race I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna do a degen stardew, stardew stream again because I, I don't see any point to playing it offline like why not stream it and I'm probably gonna want to play it later so that's probably gonna happen like 90% chance you can control the pressure okay I mean that's good I mean I will yeah but I mean on the on the shovel though music L a mulberry on a tactical shovel Maybe it's good for shoveling mulberries. I don't think I've ever had a mulberry. Big ass blackberries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, work on... Did you get it set up, son, or do you still have to work on it? Hopefully it doesn't require too much futzing about. Dried figs. Figs are delicious. Okay, you guys. I'm going to clean up, and yet I, you know what? I've already told you guys what I'm going to do, like, three or four times. You know what? I'm going to tell you again. I'm going to clean up. <laughs> I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to watch racing. And, uh, yeah, maybe be back. Um, let's see. Oh, of course, also, if you are new here, or if you are old here and just haven't joined yet, please feel free to join my Discord. It's open to everybody. Um, and let's see what we got going on here. Sometimes it's so... Okay, you know, let me just put this on this monitor. I don't know why I ever try to put anything on that monitor when the ring light is right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, is it Pi Day? No. 3.14. Oh, it is. I'm surprised I had this is the first time hearing of it. Um,. Oh, they're playing that game I was looking at. I mean, I'm not gonna. Oh, there's so many choices. <gasps> Dog Master is in tonight. Okay, just in my follows, and I don't even know if I'm following everybody. I see Dog, Sal, Gallus, Insomnia, Ash, Luke, all for Hollow Knight Race Night. Um, but I think I'm going to send you guys over to of course you can of course you guys know everybody i think um and i'm sure these people will have a multi available also but i think i'm going to send you guys over to ash um i mentioned this yesterday when i was on ash's channel doing some uh, unrailed uh she's part of the epilogue gaming community and they are doing a 48 hour charity marathon for able gamers which is a uh, an organization that helps uh, people with various disabilities, like get uh, what do you like like a controller that will work with if they have you know limited movement in their hands or if they maybe even need like you know other types of things to make them able to fucking play games because like everybody should be able to play a game, right? So, oops, not a not an exclamation. It's a slash. It's a slash. So that said gonna raid us over to ash to smurf i'm assuming they're just finally getting like set up that they're just finishing up the warm-up i don't know for sure though um so yeah if you would like to do a simple little raid with me feel free to drop the beanies or drop whatever emote of your choice that you have um any other important information will be if you if I'm too late tonight if you have a non degen schedule and I'm too late for you tonight I will be back tomorrow evening at a more reasonable hour um 
quite possibly with more Stardew again, honestly, because Sundays are supposed to be cozy and Stardew is the coziest game that I have right now. Or maybe I'll go into Hollow Knight withdrawal and I'll need to do a randomizer or something. I don't know exactly what tomorrow will bring, but um, it'll bring me. I guess you guys like hanging out with me and that's uh, that's like so sweet. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. But thank you for hanging out while we like did this amazing thing on my nails. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of whatever time of day it is for you, wherever you are in this world. And I hope I'll see you guys next time. It's very quiet. Um, and of course, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed as well. Uh-oh. A little... <laughs> A little bit of a journey. We had a little bit of a struggle, but I really... Oh, that one is so good. Everyone say hi to Colette. <laughs> In the YouTube, you have to say goodbye to Colette because uh, this is the end of the YouTube extended tutorial live stream archive. If you love nail art, be sure you subscribed here to My Simple Little Pleasures. Colette, and if you would us. like to join me live, you can come follow <laughs> at twitch.tv slash Incredibly, I am right. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. <laughs>